That's it, the sails are coming down, lost the wind, gonna have to uh, start the engine. Welcome to our life on the sea. We are an Australian family that fell in love with the ocean and living on a boat travelling. I'm Sarah and together with Lee and our two kids, Taj and Bella, we are documenting our travels as we sail the world one island at a time. This lifestyle is fun, adventurous, humbling and incredibly challenging, but we wouldn't have it any other way. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to our channel to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Hey, won't you come? Won't you come? Hey, probably got food in my face. <laughs> but um, she's up the front. We're gonna cut a bit of Bella's hair. See how much she wants off. <laughs> Really good. It's really nice. It's really good. It's really good. I had a dream I had short hair once. It's kind of like when Taj cut my hair. No, yeah, it was like this. Oh gosh, I'm glad you didn't do that. I would have freaked out. <laughs> oh, you like it though? Yeah. Well, I've never had it like I'm just like doing this. I'm not going down. 
Yeah, it was pretty long. I'm go see what Daddy says. He told me not to do it. He watched, he saw how much, he, and then he's like... <laughs> <laughs> Did he just do that? Alright guys, it's coral trout time. Not what it seems. Actually gonna be using this. We've been spearing, we're hungry. A bit of coconut oil. Just gonna put that in here like that. Oh poor stove's falling apart. Right, I've got the oil heating up here. All right, a little bit of uh, flour. I usually use self-raising flour, but hey, we don't have that. So what I'm going to do? Just a little bit of uh, a little bit of bicarb soda gives it that little extra. A little bit of bubble, bang. A little bit of sea salt. This one's actually from. Uh, a while back there when we passed through barley and we grabbed a whole heap of that sea salt. Alright, mix that in, a little bit of salt, bit of flour, nothing fancy here guys, a little bit of coconut oil going on there. There's going to be a beer batter, Let's see if it's off. No, that's alright, so we'll use that one. A little bit of that in there. We'll do my little mix up. Oh, look at that, eh? I just need a little bit more. Guinness and a beer batter. Hey, how's this gonna taste? Have a little stir up. Probably a little bit more. I don't want it too thick. I want a nice little thin, crispy one. It looks quite disgusting, hey? We'll see what it turns out like. I'll give it a minute in there anyway. I'll get this fish out. It's looking a bit empty at the moment in here. Let that cool down for a little bit. Coral trout, fresh. Can't beat it. What I'm gonna do, I'll just give this a light little flour. I'll lightly flour all our fish. Bring it in there. Oh. Someone who filled it, that left a bone. I feel a bone in there. Oh, that's no good. Oh no. Must have been late when I was doing this. There's another bone. Can't beat the coral trout. It's just some nice, clean eating fish. Alright, 
had the uh, beer batter sitting in the fridge, it's probably good to go. Here it is. Oh, give this a go, eh? Let's give that a light little dunk in there, like so. I might just turn my oil back up. It's got nice hot oil. Done with Guinness. It's actually not Guinness, it's a uh, Royal Stout. I'll just whack one more in there. I don't want to overcrowd the pan. Being the chef I am and all. It just smells really nice. Oh. Whee. Look at that. Hey? Oh, look yeah. at that, hey? I didn't get them as crisp as I wanted to because I probably should have a bit more uh, bit more oil in the pan but we're just trying to be pretty conservative with our oil. There you have it. Back in about a minute when they're all done. Alright, what do we need? Just need a bit of lime. guys it's not burnt it's got like a golden sort of brown look because of the Guinness a little bit of lime juice over the top of that like so a little bit of salt over the top there oh it's hot oh, that's divine oh that is so good Tastes like fish and chips. <laughs> Where's the chips? <laughs> Is that good or what? It's amazing. We'll leave it there and uh, that's us for today. Whew, it's hot in this kitchen. I don't know how I do it every day. Anyway. A little bit of tartare. So what's this sauce for daddy? Do you make it? Yeah, yep. It's my, my secret ingredients. Sweat, I'm sure. Make it that extra salty. Caught it, cooked it. All you, you gotta do is clean up in the catch kitchen it. afterwards. I didn't catch it. Actually, I didn't Taj caught these two. Get out, dummy, the little bugger. Usually, like in the afternoons, lots of wind or like a big Sumatra comes through. And right now, I'm guessing there's like 20, 25 knots of wind coming through and the beautiful crystal 